Hey folks, so this lesson is really similar to the last one. The only difference is it's it's minus C right here. So we do the same thing as we did in the last lesson, but it's a minus C. And so this is a 1x squared, so just x squared. So x squared plus bx minus C or x squared minus bx minus C, okay? All right, so and don't forget all your lessons can be found at that really groovy website right there. Okay, let's get started. So uh, list the pairs of factors that give uh, the product of each. Okay, this time it's negative 10. So this is going to be our, our C, our minus C, okay? Remember, a positive times a negative is a negative right there. So negative 1 times 10 or 1 times negative 10, and then negative 2 times 5, and then 2 times negative 5. Okay, how about this one? There's lots of them here. So there's all the factors of negative 30, okay? So they're just all the, um, this is negative 1 times 30, and this one's you put the negative with the other one, the negative 30, and same with all the rest right there, okay? All right, and then uh, the last one, if we have a prime number, so this one's either negative 1 times 47 or 1 times negative 47. So when we're factoring these guys, uh, that we do the same thing as we did in the last lesson. We do parentheses and parentheses and put x's here. This is when it's a 1x squared, okay? So if it's a 1x squared and you got this trinomial thing happening right there, we put the parentheses with the x's in there, okay? And then, and then we do the same thing. We look for factors of c. So actually it's negative c in this guy right here. So factors of this number right here which is a negative C uh, that goes in the parentheses that adds to this B term right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get started with this. And don't forget, uh, always, if you can, your first step uh, to factoring is to pull out a GCF. And oftentimes you can't, but if you can, always consider that. And I do have one of those in here. So let's factor each of these guys. So this one here, we're looking for factors of negative 3. This is a minus 3. Factors of negative 3 that add to 2. Here, this is factors of negative 3 that adds to negative 2. Okay. So the parentheses go in there. Okay, factors of negative 3 are, let's see, the add to positive 2 are going to be a positive 3 times a negative 1, okay? And then this one here is going to be a negative 3 times a positive 1. That'll give us this negative 2 right there, okay? All right, and you can put them the other way if you want. It doesn't matter. This is long. I mean, these are the same products, the x plus 3 here, the x minus 1 here, okay? So either one of those would be correct, and same over here. All right, let's keep going. So factors of negative 48. All right, now I just like to think of factors of 48. 1 and 48, 2 and 24. No, that's not it. Uh, 3 and 16. Yeah, there it is right there. 3 and 16. So this is going to be a negative 16 times a, a positive 3 right there. Okay, so negative 16, positive 3. All right, 56. All right, so it's 8 and 7. So which one's negative? So the negative 8 to give us this negative 1 right there. So uh, it's going to be negative 8 plus 7. Okay. All right. X minus 8, X plus 7. Okay. How about this one? So factors of um, uh, negative 14. Well, 14 is 1 and 14, uh, 2 and 7, and that's it. So this guy doesn't factor. This one's prime. Okay. All right. How about this one? Okay. Now here, so this is not a 1x squared. So we're hoping that we can GCF out this number in front, and we can. 3 goes into that. 3 goes into 9 three times. And if we add these digits, 1 plus 6 is um, uh, 7, and then add the 2 is 9. Since 3 goes into 9, 3 will go into 162. Okay, in fact, it goes in there 54 times. All right, now we do factors of negative 54 uh, that add to this positive 3. So don't forget, it's going to be 3 and then parentheses and parentheses. And then, um, uh, so then we do factors of negative 54. So it's 9 and 6, so it's going to be plus 9 minus 6, okay, to get us that plus 3 right there, okay? And if we foiled this stuff out right here, it'd take us back to that. And then if we redistributed the 3 back through, it'd take us back to what we started with. Okay, remember, if I foiled this out times this out, it would give us this. Foil this times this, it gives us this. So factoring is the opposite of multiplying or foiling. So it's, a, it's, t it's asking what times what gives us these polynomials right there. That's what factoring is, okay? All right, so if you're in our class, you're going to be given uh, another handout. It's the one from uh, yesterday. It's just the backside. Take care.